totally forgot about these pictures. We were little and at 97, I think, is when that was. No way. Where did you find that shirt? I'm ready. <laughs> Photos are papers filled with memories. To view them takes us back in time. To recreate them is priceless. Yeah, it was good. Uh, good picture. Obviously, our parents like to dress us. Not, not in the best way when we were kids, but it was fun to recreate a picture and do it with Josh. It's always a good time. Tanner Byrne rides bulls for a living. He grew up in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, and was a childhood friend of current duck, Josh Manson. Oh, since we were real young, yeah, our dads, I think, were, were buddies together and then, uh, you know, through sports or whatever it was, and then uh, we, he would come out and visit when, when we were in Arizona and whenever I went home in the summer and then played hockey together growing up, and uh, yeah, so it's been a long time. Before Tanner decided it might be fun to strap himself on top of a 2,000-pound bull, he often laced up the skates with Josh. When I was young, I really only had a passion for riding bulls, and it's all I ever wanted to do. I did all, all sorts of sports as much as I could just to stay active and stay going, but my one passion was for bull riding and, and to go to the PBR and be a world champion. So it's what I uh, live my life for, and it came to a point where, you know, I was doing too many things at once, and I knew I had to focus on, on one thing, and that was bull riding. And, you know, I, I wasn't going to make it in hockey anyway, so it wasn't a big decision for me. Tanner finally had an opportunity to watch his childhood friend compete in an NHL game recently. The night Manson dropped the gloves just for the second time. Well, Josh has been game throughout his career and he hasn't backed off of tough assignments and this is yet another one. Cam came up to me today and he's like, was that your buddy in the press box last night? I go, yeah, he, goes, he was losing it when you were fighting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people say that. Hockey's a tough sport, but if you watch, I watched on the screen last night, the bumps and bruises, and obviously I've seen it before, but um, I think it just showed the fans, you know, those guys put their bodies through so much more. It's only, you know, whatever it is, eight seconds, but I mean, that's every time you go out there, you're putting your body on the line, and uh, yeah, you gotta show a lot of respect for it. It's been almost 20 years since the childhood photos were taken, but when the two are reacquainted, they immediately revert back to the boyish fun of their youth. And although the reunions are few and far between these days, they remain each other's biggest fans. To have a, a buddy that's uh, kind of going through the same things that you might be going through, you know, and you can text him and be excited for him, or you get to go watch him. It takes my mind off of hockey, I know for sure. And then it, when it, as it kind of came true and it started to unfold, we, re, we realized that last year he got his shot and I, you know, I got my shot and it was like, we were just so excited for each other, you know, it, it, it was nice, it was a good thing to happen. I watch every game that I can and, and I know Josh watches lots of bull riding and we're always texting back and forth and, you know, we're proud of each other and uh, we both don't take, take it for granted, you know, where we're at. You know, lots of people don't get to live, live their dreams and, you know, I feel like we are both doing that right now. You can catch Tanner in action as the PBR comes to Honda Center on January the 29th through the 31st.